Wow, things really start out on a high note in this game. <laughs> yeah. This is the opening cutscene. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, yeah. Get- Oh. Hey! I could use that. If I could just get my hand on it. No, apparently not. <gasps> is that Arnold? Are thirsty, dead woman. Uh, nope. Shall I cut you down from that corpse tree? Well, I mean, if it you can spare you. a minute, it might kill. You well, women are soft. you know what else would kill me? Being up your here. Lives are not nailed to your spines. Well, okay, just roast me before you take me down. Just come on. If you wouldn't mind, thank you. Jeez, what a gentleman. This land does not love men. I got that much from the opening cutscene. You are marked. Oh. And you cannot cross the ghost fence wearing that. I don't want to cross the ghost <laughs> fence. It might have been kinder to leave you on the cross. Yeah, but make no mistake, I'm really happy that I'm not on it anymore. Live. Mm. Love. Yes. Burn with life. Eat. Slay. Pray. And survive. Laugh. All sorts of wonderful things we can put on a mug. We will meet again, dead woman. Hello everyone and welcome to Conan Exiles, a game set in the world of Conan. Obviously I'm not playing Conan. Actually I was trying to make Xena Warrior Princess, but you know, I didn't spend a lot of time with the character creation tool. Anyway, it's it's close enough. I'm hoping to spend a lot of time with this game, and so if I come across any pro tips, I'm going to throw up this graphic, which lets you know that it is indeed a pro tip. Okay, but we don't have to put it in every time I say pro tip. Like, okay, I got to be careful when I say pro tip. Okay, okay, we can stop now. Already regretting this. I've been where you are. Oh, okay. I could just climb up skeletons. And that was... Climbing was a thing I was supposed to do. That was part of my journey. Well, now all I want to do is just climb up a skeleton. Can I climb up anything else? Oh, yeah, I can climb up rocks. Ooh, a glowing obelisk. I can climb up the glowing obelisk, too. I am dying of thirst. How do I... I'm gonna splash around in the water a little bit. There we go. Mission accomplished. Ooh, a crocodile. He looks nasty. No, you know what? I'm Xena. Let's just punch him. That's right. Punch you in the face, Killer Croc. Watch my sweet unarmed... Hey, cripple an enemy. See? It's working. Um, actually... Oh, okay, you know what? Uh, next thing is just run... Pro tip, run away. All the time. Always run away. This is not an improvement! This is not an improvement! Fine, punch you, whatever you are! Oh, man! Oh, it was an imp. Alright. Well, uh, just for the record, uh, another pro tip. Uh, always turn off the setting that, uh, dumps all of your gear on your corpse, Diablo style. If you turn that off before you start the game, you just keep everything that you have when you die. Also, make sure you turn your leveling up to 10x when you start the game, because uh, that's going to help a lot with the grind, you know. That's a big ledge. I bet I can climb it. Spider Woman, Spider Woman, does whatever Xena can do. It's, it's going to take some work. Oh, hey, we made it to the top. See, anything is possible if you believe. All right, I found a nice place to start setting up camp, so I think it's time to do some harvesting. Oh, uh, another pro tip. When you uh, start your server, make sure you turn collection up to 10x as well, uh, because, again, it's going to help a whole lot with that grind. See see how fast you actually harvest wood when you do that? Yeah, it's a uh, big improvement. Big improvement. All right, took me a little while, but I got uh, the start of my house here. It's... Uh, yeah, it's a fixer-upper. Uh, the roof needs to be, well, built. But, you know, it's a work in progress. I'm gonna see what I can do with it now. 
So I was having some trouble getting the building tool to work the way I wanted it to, so uh, I decided to try going for a post-modern Art Deco style of house, uh, which is just perfect for the Stone Age. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, you know, making it work, making it work. Time to greet the neighbors. Ugh. That's one hell of a housewarming, thanks guys. Would it have killed you to just bring over a fruit basket? Was that too much to ask? Was it? I am a bad neighbor though. But maybe that's just because of the arrow in the head. Oh, okay. <laughs> Apparently you can also mine dead bodies in this game, that's... That's good. This is how I get hide! Okay, this time I'm gonna try a disguise. If I look like them, they won't attack me. Alright, well, that plan went out the window pretty fast. Well, back to corpse mining. Oh, sorry, pro tip, uh, everybody in this game hates you, uh, so don't get attached to anyone. Damn you, scorpions! Oh, you brought your big brother along! That is so cheap! Fine, finish you off, and now I'll take on your big brother. Yeah, uh, hopefully. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. Let's try this. Okay, fine. There. Just smack him a few more times. Yes. On to scorpion mining. Oh, that's a pretty big tower. Bet I can climb it. This was the inspiration for the Hang In There Kitty poster. Alright, I'm almost at the top. I'm almost at the top. Here I go. And there's a cutscene. Yay! I did something. Um. What? Uh, well, that was anticlimactic. I guess, pro tip do not walk into fire. That's a good one. So, good news, I was able to craft a much better set of armor from the chitin I got from, uh, scorpion mining. So I figured I'd head off into the wilds, check out these scenic vistas, and, uh, maybe get a hold of some rare resources out here. Ah, spider! Spider, uh, just throw this thing! That didn't do anything at all. Why do I even have potions? Oh, you are a nasty little thing! There! There! Oh, that sound. All right, on to spider mining. Yeah. Uh, oh, sounds nice. All right, I know you're going to attack me, so let's get this over with. All right, and you exploded. Oh, okay. Oh, I think I woke up the rest of the village. Okie dokie. Um... The acupuncture therapy is not working. I am still very stressed out by this. I'm getting your license revoked. Oh no, not a crocodile too! Oh, we're run away! Just run away! I'm gonna start taking my own advice. Oh wait, what's going on? Oh yes, enemy of my enemy. Turn the crocodiles against the villagers. Perfect. Oh, uh, pro tip, just have the enemies fight other enemies, and, uh, it gets way easier. Alright, I found me a man, I'm gonna drag him back to my house. Okay, so what you're supposed to do with captured enemies is put them on this wheel of pain, I guess, and, uh, you can slowly turn them into a thrall. Um... I'm wondering if the developers thought of the optics of this. I... Okay, so here's another pro tip. Uh, now, you'll notice in the little crafting window that it shows hide plus time equals whatever that black pool is. Uh, but you'll notice when you put the hide in, nothing happens in the crafting queue. Now, here's something the developers thought of. You have to put the seeds in there. See, the seeds are what you actually had to put in to the crafting, not the hide like it shows. See, that was, uh, that was real smart, because, uh, it develops critical thinking skills. Oh, uh, yeah, here's actually a really good pro tip. Um, just get beehives. They just sit there and produce honey for you, 
which is a food that weighs practically nothing and also never expires like all the other meat and fish that I kept trying to cook, which kind of makes that laborious process entirely pointless. Even with my crafting speed at 10 times normal and multiple crafting stations for each thing, man, crafting still takes an awful long time. Oh, a yellow lotus potion. What does that do? Oh, it resets my feats and attributes. So now I'm over encumbered. Well, real glad I did that. <laughs> but it was a goal on my journey. <laughs> so. Well. When in a spooky cave, do as the spooky ghosts do. Oh, there's a chest down here. Alright. Oh, some bricks? Oh, sure, when the fire is sitting on top of water, it's fine. I'm pretty buff now, so I'm gonna take on some bigger game. Come on, let me... Alright. Maybe not. Come on, Xena. Failure is not an option. Let's take on a rhino. Yep. This is an even match. Oh god. Dodge. Roll. Smack. Dodge. Roll. Okay, that didn't work. Oh. Ow. Uh. Okay. Just. Alright. Move out of the way. If I can just avoid that horn, I should be fine. Uh, just. Wow, that's gonna be really. Okay, run away. Running away now. Uh, into the water! Ha 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 ha! Into the water! Oh, you can't go into the water, can you? Ha ha ha! Pro tip, when you're running away from a land animal, uh, just go into the water and watch their stupid face as they just look on forlorn from the shoreline. <laughs> Alright, I think we can call that a draw. The Den. Den of what? Uh, oh! Den of rhinos, huh? Oh, you're a smaller rhino. I bet I can take you on. Let's see here. Yeah, just... Okay, well, apparently I'm stuck inside the rhino. That does seem to add a level of difficulty I was not planning on! Uh, okay. Uh, just... Uh, okay, I'm back out. Alright, good. And that... Yeah, still... Okay, well that doesn't really improve the situation the way I had hoped. Am I... I can't really see much of anything. I see my health bar going down. I can see that. That's not... good. Oh, no. Fine. No more rhinos. Just realizing that turning one of your enemies into a thrall apparently takes like 15 actual hours. And now that I'm thinking about it, there was a way that you could turn the Thrall conversion speed up ten times. And I didn't do that. So, uh, pro tip, just turn every single slider when you start the game up to 10x. Because literally every single mechanic in the game is such a slog to get through unless you ramp up the speed of it. I don't know why it has to take so long. <laughs> To do everything. Man, this is just becoming such a grind. Hey, what happens if I just remove my bracelet? I will die? Sure. Yeah, whatever you say. Now let's remove the bracelet. Oh. Well, they did tell me. I can't fault them for honesty. I was killed by myself. <laughs> yep. That did happen. Oh, there I am. Well, on to me mining. Severed arm. Hey, I can equip my own arm as a weapon. That's fun. Doesn't really look like my arm. Oh well. Oh, so hey, last pro tip of the video. Uh, if you are lacking a weapon, just kill yourself in the game. And when you come back, you can just harvest your own arm as a weapon. That works. I love that there was a Eventually goal to find someone to talk to. You mad fool! What are you doing in this sandstorm? I I don't know. I was apparently singing trying sand. to find anyone to stinging talk to. Sand. Singing, stinging, ringing sand. 
And this is what I got. <laughs> Seven prophets well, went to walking, uh, bearing all their tricks. Yeah. One was caught by a Oh, and would you look at the time? I, uh... Six prophets uh, went to climb. No, the, I, I get it. Yeah. No, this is a great poetry jam session you got going on in the temple, but, um... You know what? I think I'm just going to take my chances with the uh, other people that are trying to kill me. It's been real, dude. 